looking a little but baby has been sick look at her eye mm, she has a little cold Today we are going to talk about a topic that I wrote in my phone and I need to look it up so I know what to say. Hey, it's HJ and I want to talk about conversations that you should have before you get married. And I have one, two, three, four, five written down right here. And marriage is great and it's challenging and it stretches you and it makes you <laughs> become so sanctified in such a short amount of time. So if you are planning on getting married, if anybody you know is planning on getting married, maybe you're engaged or just one day you're like, I'm single, but I want to get married someday, then this is the vlog for you. This is five conversations to have before you get married. You want to talk about these things before you walk down the aisle. Okay, I'll just start at like most important. The rest are in no particular order, but the number one thing, if you look through the list and you think something else is number one, comment below, but I'd say this is number one. Understand your role, your biblical role as a woman, and he needs to understand his biblical role as a man. Because marriage is not just like, hey, we walk down the aisle and we're married. Like, it is a covenant before God. It is a spiritual thing. And if God has expectations for you as a woman, some of our job is to submit. Some of our job is to be an encourager. We're not supposed to be the leaders. We're not supposed to be the head of the household. We're supposed to be the manager of the household. And it's like, if we don't understand this part of our role, we'll try to fulfill their part of the role. And nothing will shoot down a a, almost at a wedding, hey, a wedding too, but nothing will shoot down a marriage faster than a woman trying to lead a marriage because that is not the way it was created to be. There is not only going to be at odds this way, but you're going to be at odds this way because that's sin. Okay, so maybe you're not trying to lead the marriage, but maybe he's not trying to lead the marriage either, so nobody's leading and it's just like, what's happening? It's not going to go anywhere, so just make sure that you both seek biblical counsel from men and women who know their word, who know the word of God, and who can say, okay, this is how you become a biblical woman, and this is how you become a biblical man. Be that before you get married. Trust me. The rest in no particular order. But if you like where it's going so far, give me a thumbs up. Okay, another good question to talk about is do you want children? If you have always dreamed your whole life you're gonna have seven kids and this man does not want to have children or maybe his dream is to have a big family and you just are like oh I only ever wanted one solo kid then that's something that you're gonna want to discuss because those types of things can be deal breakers if neither person are willing to work on them if neither person are willing to just come to a happy medium children will put such a strain on your marriage and just not having the same goals in life, which moves on to what is your ultimate goal in life? If your goal is I wanna make a bunch of money being a doctor so that I can build a homeless shelter or so that I can give money away to missionaries in our church or like if you don't wanna do the same thing with your time, your res that's weird, with your time, your resources, your money, the hours in your days, if it doesn't overlap and you guys don't have the same end goal in your life, it's just gonna put strain on your marriage. But really that shouldn't be too hard just because when you start dating or courting somebody, however you wanna call it, you kind of already know about what their goal is in life. So, you know, that's something you should probably know before, but definitely something you should talk about before marriage. One that was really important to me while we were in marriage counseling was the question, what do you expect out of me? Just to get a little personal and tell you one of the answers that I had for him, I expect for you to be a father that is involved in your children's life. And that is important to me because if right then and there he would have said, that wasn't one of my goals in life, that wasn't something that I really expected to do. I expected to be more of a passive father. I just go home, go to work, make the bacon, come home and chill, wake up and do it again. Then that really would have been a deal breaker for me. And I just could not have a father of my children that is not active in their lives. And then he had expectations for me, like I expect to in a reason, reasonable degree that our home is going to be upkept and I can just leave all my worries at the door and just come home to a loving, clean home. And I was just like, I got you. Like, okay, that was easy enough. <laughs> 
but it's really not that easy to keep your house clean every single day, I'm just saying. That was just a little part of our story, but it is very important to ask them, what do you expect out of me? Are you willing to do this? 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 And you hash it out before you get married. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's a good one. Another conversation to have before you get married is, what is your view on divorce? And you're going to be like, duh, divorce is a sin. Don't have it. That's my view. It is very easy to just say that and just think that the other person is like knowing what you mean by that, but really have a conversation about it and say, are we in 1000% about what God says about divorce. There are Christians who will say, oh, I don't believe in divorce. But when the going gets tough, that's where they will run to. Make sure that whenever there's gonna be a tough time that they're gonna say, okay, we're gonna have accountability from our church. We're going to submit to authority in our church. Like we are going to be a part of a local body that is going to shepherd us through our hard times and that we're going to allow into our lives and into our marriage. But just make sure you talk about divorce and you know where each of you stand on it. And yeah, right Evie, right. Okay, the sun's going down, I need to end this vlog. If you enjoyed my vlog, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, give me a subscribe, share it with somebody who is going to be married or wants to be married and you think could definitely benefit from this vlog. Share, like, subscribe. <laughs> are you thumbsing up? Are you thumbsing up? Are you thumb are you putting your thumb up? <laughs>